So this is my homemade barbecue mount for my RV. Didn't want to pay 120 bucks. So I said, I'll just make one. I still got to get the end caps to plug the holes, stuff like that. But uh, you can see I got some holes drilled in here. Those go through the legs to hold the, the grill in. And uh, it's secured by a pin that goes through both bars, through the bottom, and this won't go anywhere. So driving around down the road, it's fine. I have a, a bar that is welded into this side and it fits inside this one inch square tubing. I got a hole drilled this way and that way. If I want to set this up, just take this wing nut off. Pull this pin out. Pull this out. It's gonna be kind of hard to do one-handed. I can rotate this up. Shove that bolt back in. I put the wing nut on, but I just don't have time right now. But now it is 100% released. Swings around. And then you're good to mount the grill on it. And I got a propane hookup right there. And uh, I'm off and grilling. Super easy. Took me about three hours to put together. All right, I got the grill mounted up. I uh, was talking about those holes I had earlier. I got holes drilled through each one of the legs. It's pinned in there, can't fall out. Got the quick connect there at the back side for the propane. Um, I think I'm still going to use this pin when it's in operation. It is a little heavy out here. I mean, it's not bad, but just to take some of that stress off, I think I'll make an adjustable leg that'll run down to the ground here with about a foot of adjustment, depending on the site that I'm in. And... I'll just pin it right through this hole and I'll be able to adjust this nice and level through there. But yeah, pretty simple.